Hey guys, Minecraft HD here, and welcome back to episode 2 of Terraria Modern. And today we are going to be looking at how to make your own basic item. So, the first thing what I'd like you guys to do is go check out part 1 if you haven't already. And if you have watched that and you're up to the part where you've got tconfig installed and the, uh, let's have a look here, the game launcher GUI installed, then stay on this video and continue watching. And what you need to do is you go into your start menu, your my documents, your my games, if I can find mine, there we go, Terraria, and then you need to go into mod packs, or make a folder called mod packs, and then here will be where you're going to make all your new stuff. Let me just delete all mine, as they are no needed no more. So you'll make a folder called mod packs, and in here, this is where we're going to make our own mod packs and we'll call this tutorial. And let's go inside there. Right, so now inside here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to start coding our own item. So you remember that default packs we downloaded? Here. And uh, we're going to open it up and we're going to start using it. So yeah, we're going to open it up, and now we're going to go inside this item folder. And this is also a folder we're going to need to make here. So inside tutorial, we're going to make a folder called item. And now inside there, we're going to open up our item folder. But what we're going to do is we're going to find the item what we want to be like. So what we want is we want an item what does absolutely nothing. So basically an example of this is the angel statue, which is there. So I'm going to drag that out into this item folder and exit that folder now. So we're all ready. Now I'm going to open this up and it will open up a notepad, hopefully. And what I want to do now is this, where it says type, this is basically the type of it like the type of object but I'm going to change this to be a minus one so basically that there will allow us to use it to use our own PNG so after we've done that what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this play style because I don't know the create tile sorry because we don't want it to be placed not yet anyway we'll get into that in a different tutorial because it's kind of a block now we don't need the animation sorted that's already done we don't need style we don't need type because we've done that width and height is just staying at 20 now max stack this is what we're going to look at I want mine to be in fives play style can be one continuable two true not two true True, true, scale 1, and value 300. So I'm going to save this now. And then we're going to rename this to be whatever we want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this to be paper. The I and I. So now what we need to do is open up our beloved Photoshop and make it a 20 by 20 PNG. Of a piece of paper. Let me move this over here for you guys. Let's make a new. Oh. Continue trial. A 20 by 20 image. Like that and make it transparent. Now what I want to do is I've got my nice block. All I'm going to do is I'm going to simply make, you could say, a piece of paper. If you want to call it that, I'm sure it won't look like one. I'll have any of the properties as one. Just that a cool guy made it. I 
let's quickly get rid of that. There we go. And now inside this, I'm simply going to fill it up with a orangey colour. You obviously, you guys obviously have more time than me, so go ahead, make the best image you can. Unfortunately, I don't have much time, so I am just working quick here and making a horrible piece of paper. And now we're going to save this out into our my documents, my games, Terraria, mod packs, tutorial, item. We're going to name this a PNG and we're going to name it Paper. And now you guys may be wondering, yeah, so great, we're going the game Paper. How do we get it? Now that's a good question. Now another thing I'd like to point out Paper.png needs to be the same as Paper, so no capitals, stuff like that. It's very important. So let's open the Paper.ini again. And what you're going to need to add at the bottom is something which I'll include in the description if I do remember. And it is, in fact, I do have a double monitor here. So it all does here. Da -da -da. We'll change the value as well soon. In fact, we'll do it now. And I'll just be kind and go. And copper. Right, so what this is is that's platinum, gold, silver, and copper. So I want it to be no platinum, no gold, I'll say 25 silver, and 15 copper. So that's the price. And now we need to add in this recipe. It's very simple, you guys could probably copy it up yourselves if you're lazy. I mean, if you're not lazy. And basically, it's just recipe and items, amount, tiles, and what I need. So, the tiles, I'm going to change this to be workbench. Workbench. Now, what would you use to make paper? My apologies for them popping up. Once again, this is my family computer and stuff like this will always happen. So I'll be right back while I fix this problem. And I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. So the amount is how much we need. And I'm just going to change it to five. And now I was on the items. So let's think paper. I'll just say two wood. I think it'll be easier. And we don't need water. So I'm going to leave that as false. Now let's change this to be, let's just save that. And now let's open up Terraria from Steam. Now I'd just like to say that these are item folders which I downloaded. They're very helpful and I would recommend using it. Once again, link to episode 1 in the description. It will really help you out with that stuff. And also, we're going to get on to doing not so basic items next. My apologies for this, it's going to full screen. Go windowed. And you're back in Windows, windowed. I mean, sorry for that. But now what you got to do is go into T config settings. Hmm. Uh. Second, let's exit that. Exit that again. Oh yeah, my apologies. I missed out a big step here. 
you got to go into modpackbuilder.exe inside your Steam Apps commentary area. And then what I'll ask you to do is it'll start saying, choose a mod pack you'd like to build. I'm going to say number one because I've got a tutorial on number one. It's going to check all your mods and see if you've got any errors in. If you have it, it will tell you and not work. If not, it'll say press enter to continue. Then you hit enter. And then what you need to do is hit one again, I believe. Or you could just exit, you know, one of the works instead of doing it over and over again. Just open Terraria again. And it should work this time. I'll also bring you another in in a writing guide for you guys on the website, which I'm following off on my other monitor because I do find this kind of hard to remember at points. So apologies for that. I am going to be quiet while this is open the game, just in case it comes in full screen, which it did not this time, which I'm happy about. So now we're going to go into T config settings to uh, tutorials. Now there, I'm going to change it to be on in reload mods. And now, as you can see in T in T config settings tutorials on, we're going to go into single player. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, my legit guy, my legit world. And in case you're wondering why my computer's running extra slow today, it's because I am screen sharing. In case you didn't know already, I have got James in Skype call with me. He's just got his mic muted, and he's just been watching me do this video. I don't know why to be honest. I'll ask him after this. And here we go, we're in the world. So we're in the world. Now have we got wood on us? Yes we have. So Apparently my guy doesn't move. Oh yes, because we're in auto pause. Right, so let's go over the crafting square. Crafting table, I mean, and go right down the bottom. And at the bottom, we can see five paper, which is just consumable with two wood. It stacks in fives as well. And also, if I go up to the merchant, it should sell for a random amount what we set it as in the shop one paper is worth five silver and three copper I believe we set that in side here uh, oh yes this is should be worth 25 silver and 15 copper for the full stack. Yeah, 25, 15 for the full stack. I should have in there typed 1. But anyway, guys, I'd like to say a great thank you for you watching this video, and I hope you will tune into the next video. If you haven't already, could you please rate, comment, and subscribe? It will help me out and it does help me out a lot I'm going to try and get as many of these videos out as I can I haven't been uploading recently that will all be in the update video which should be coming soon if it's not already out but thank you for watching we're just coming up to the 15 minute mark here so thank you for watching I hope you have a very nice day and thank you for watching once again so bye